So what's happening people? How you doing? It's Modern Dad, or Dan, whatever. English Dan. Whatever you call me what you want. You can even call me something about being rather bulbous. Don't care. Who did all before? Anyway, so. Sorry I've not been around for a while. I got that Chipotle food poisoning that's going around Ohio. I mean, that's just... That sucks! Chipotle was my favourite food place anywhere. Now? Mm-mm. Let me tell you, by the time I've finished, my butthole... Oof, oof, it looked like a bunch of tulips. And I don't mean tulips. I mean the flower. Tulips. God. Anyway. So enough of my whatevers, that's why you've not seen me for 8 days, so I've got a lot of videos to crank out over this, probably next month. I've got at least 10 items at home, and this is the first one I've been, uh, I've been trying to get out. I promised to do this for these guys for a little while, I had to wait a little while for these things because these came straight from the manufacturer and not through Amazon or anything like that. So, sometimes you find a small company who's just trying to break their way into a certain niche market which nowadays it's getting kind of a niche and uh, they're trying their best to give you as much as you can for as little as possible and this company is Marsno now Marsno are a audio company they deal in head uh, all sorts of like earbuds they don't do anything over here yet they've got two different styles right now called the Marsno M1 and the Marsno M2 they sent me, and I'm really clear, they sent me these, but I am not biased at all. I told them I would not be biased. They sent me these headphones. These are the Marsno M2. They're wired headphones. Let me get that out of the way. You get some snobs on YouTube who have got these headphones from Marsno, and the first thing they've done is slam them because they're wired. Why would you even want to review the headphones if you're going to slam them before you've even listened to them. I mean, so if you're a snob for Bluetooth, go elsewhere. This isn't for you. These are three and a half millimeter headphone earbuds. They look really well. They sound really well, but I'll get more into that shortly. So, Marsno, very small company, new company, two headphones out at the moment. Got a new one on the way, can't remember the name off the top of my head. They look cool, they're black and yellow. Again, they're wired. But yeah, I got the Marsno M2. These are the recently released version of what they've got available. So, going into the product a little bit, what do you get? So, you get quite a long red wire. Now, it's not the thickest wire, but let me reiterate, these are $16 right now on Amazon, okay? It's a round wire. I wish they'd use the flat cable. Obviously, they're trying to keep costs down to keep these because, you know, they've got to stay under a certain amount before people are going to look at them. And I totally understand that, but I think a flat cable is the way to go in future if they can, if it means right by raising the price a book because, you know, it's going to be worth it in the long run. I've not had any issues with it tangling as such or anything like that, but I just think a flat cable is more durable. So a little bit of constructive criticism, Miles, now. I think that's the way you should be looking to go forward if you're staying in the wired. Now, like I say, it's quite long. It's like your average length. That's what she said. Anyway, <clears throat> so... On one end, you get your three and a half millimeter gold tipped, gold plated, gold whatever, tipped headphone jack. It's got the three lines. You also have the, the actual jack itself is made of metal and it's textured. Goes into a little cup like they normally do, the little cuff around the wire that holds it all in. Comes into a, when you're not using them, you get a Velcro strap. This allows you to tie them up so it stops them from getting tangled. As you go up, you become up to the splitter here, and it has the toggle. The toggle doesn't move, okay? There's no movement on that toggle. But then again, I don't like it when people, you see people, they pull this thing up here and it's tucked in between the fourth and fifth chin like mine. It just looks silly. So the toggle doesn't move. But then as you come up, you get this, and it says Marsno on the back. The inline microphone worked really well on this thing. It's really clear. Everybody could hear me, no problem. It was crisp, they said. It sounded like I was just speaking through my mic, which is like high definition on my phones and things like that. So yeah, good, good sound that comes out of these. And then as you travel up, 
if you can hear that, you're getting metal, metal headphones. So they come up on the little stalks and then they come into this really nice design. They've got the Mars No logo on the back. They do have a left and right so you don't get confused so your stereo sound isn't all mixed up. And then they come into this, uh, like they fan out and that's to allow for the 10 millimeter driver in there to create some bass and then you get these little tips. So yeah, that is what they look like. They're really comfortable. For $16, I am absolutely impressed. So a little bit about these things. So like I said, it's a driver unit of 10 millimeters. The sensitivity on these is 98 decibels. Impedance is 16 ohms. Frequency range is 10 hertz to 20 hertz. The max input power is five milliwatts and they weigh around 15 grams. The length of that cord, by the way, is like 120 centimeters ish. So, you know, you get decent, decent cable. So, like it says here, life is too short to listen to bad her headphones. And at $16, you're normally getting plastic. Plastic with a really, really thin cable, much thinner than this, with a plastic headphone jack that usually snaps in a, you know, after a few pulls in and out and things like that. It's, they're not very good. Same with the connections on the actual earbuds on this. They're great. They're nice and strong. You can see, you can see that's going tight. No problem, not had any issue with them. I've snagged them a couple of places, nearly ripped my ear out, that's how strong they are. So, yeah, now let's get on to the important part here, the sound. So, when I first got these, I got these and I was like, eh, let's see what they sound like. Threw them in my ears, threw on Post Malone Better Now. That's my favorite song right now. So I whacked these in, all right? So these are in my ears. I'm on my, my OnePlus. Lovely shade of red, and uh, oh, ignore the patch. That's my magnet. Gross. I know. Anyway, so then I put on my Post Malone. Press play, and it's slow starting. And then his voice comes on, and it's quite clear. And I'm thinking, yeah, not bad, bad, not bad. And then the bass kicks in, and I'm like, and then I'm like, these remind me of something. What do they remind me of, Dan? What these really do remind me of is a couple of years ago, Beats had a line called iBeats. And they were a metal headphone with a red cable with an inline microphone. The cable was the same as this, same color, and they were bass heavy. And they were really good for your, your electronic music, or as they like to call it over here, everything's covered by techno, but house, things like house garage, all that kind of stuff. They're really good for that type of music. And they were really good for your R&B, hip hop, rap, classic, new, whatever. They were really good for that. You know, something that really amplified the bass. These are them in 2018, let me tell you. Now, back then, I beats seem to remember were about 100 bucks. These are $16, all right, we're two years later, but you can't get iBeats anymore. You can get these right now off Amazon, link's down there, so it's not an affiliate link either. So you know, you're you buying them, you're not filling my pocket, it's just the way it is. So they, these sound like iBeats, they're, they're constructed, constructed just like iBeats. I would have thought, if someone put a blindfold on me while I was listening to these, I would have swore that someone would come along and put a set of eye beats in my ears. It was like nostalgia in a way. It was like, damn, that's great. So yeah, these are bass heavy, but they don't drown out the highs and the mids too much. The mids get a little bit muddy, but that is the norm for bass heavy. The highs, they're there, you can hear everything. The stereo separation is very, very good. You can hear absolutely what should be in what ear and what comes out of the other one. And it also has the details in the background, the little things that you don't hear if you've not got headphones on. You do hear them in these. So let me reiterate, these are $16. You're getting a hell of a lot of sound out of these things for the money. All right, people are going to bitch that, yes, they're not Bluetooth. But let me give you an instance of why I like the 3.5mm headphone jack still. So I own the OnePlus 6, as I've just shown you. The other night, I had my XB950s, and I put them on. And within two minutes, uh-oh, people, they died. I'd forgot to charge them. But guess what? While I'm lay there sick, I'm like, ha-ha-ha, ha-ha-ha-ha. I 
grabbed the Mars nose, plugged them straight into the bottom of my OnePlus 6, gave it a good tug. No more of that what she said, all right? No more innuendo. Anyway, gave it a good tug, made sure it's not going to come out, and I fell asleep with my music playing in my ears, because these are that comfortable, and didn't have to worry about my Bluetooth running out. And they were still there the next day, and they weren't broke, as you can see, they're here right now, full. Now, as for noise isolation, earbuds, you don't get a lot of noise isolation in earbuds. The way you do get the isolation is through the right tip. Now, Marsno have also, for $16, I'll just go over what's in the box. For $16, you get the thank you card. You get the happy yes, the happy no. This company want to know, do you like these? They're asking for your feedback so they can change things for in the future. I think that's fantastic. And it's how small companies should build their business. They're making a product for the consumer. They want to listen to the consumer about what they want. I put a few ideas over myself and hopefully they're implemented. There's a few things I think Mars Know could do quite well just going off these. Anyway, you get a nice like suede felt bag and then you get a bunch of tips. I said tips. I'm not going to say. Now, this is what's important with any earbud. And the phone would ring. I'll be back in two seconds. Alright, I'm back. The sales caller is gone. If he calls back, I'm going to swear at him violently. So yeah, so in the box comes this yes no card, happy uh, suede bag and then a bunch of ear tips. And that is what is most important when it comes to wearing earbuds is you use the correct tip. If you use a tip that's loose in your ear, not only are these things going to want to fall out, and that's for any earbud, not just these, but not only are they going to be loose and want to fall out, you're not going to get that good seal in your ear canals. And not every ear canal is the same on the same head. One can be busy, bigger than the other. Mine is, I have a smaller ear canal in my right ear than I do my left. It's my Quasimodo features. Can't help it. It's just the way I was born. Thanks, parents. Um, but then again, some people are uniform. And all it is, is trying a couple of tips putting them in and seeing how they are. And now someone's shouting out back. Anyway, so yeah, that's all you gotta do is just get the right tip fitment. Once you've found the right tip fitment, people aren't gonna hear what you're listening to that much, but you're gonna get maximum sound quality out of a $16 pair of headphones. And let me stress again, these sound like the old $100 iBeats. So if you like bass, if you like the fact of not having to charge them up, if you like the fact that you can travel around with them in a nice little case, and you like the fact that you don't need to spend all your money, donate a kidney, lose a leg, get rid of your nuts, whatever, these are for you. These are $16. They sound great for what they are. You've got to put it in that context. They're $16 bass heavy headphones. You're not going to go wrong. Under 20 bucks, you are not going to find anything better. I dare say anything under 30 bucks, you're going to struggle to find anything better, especially if you try and get wireless as well. These are going to blow them away sound wise. And even if you're just looking for a backup pair, if you have the instance what I had the other night where my main set of cans just died because I was an idiot and didn't charge them. But these were my backup pair that came to the rescue, and I didn't need to worry about it. They're great for that. If you listen to bass heavy music, you're going to really appreciate these. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it. Like I say, these are really good. Don't be put off because they're three and a half millimeter. Try them. They're sixteen dollars. You're not going to go wrong with them. Don't be a snob with Bluetooth. Especially if you've got an iPhone, because if you're listening to a Bluetooth device, you're not getting really great sound quality anyway, because you've not got aptX, which really boosts the sound quality. So, give these a go. $16, whatever you got to lose. Let me know, do you still love your 3.5mm headphone jack? Is it because I'm an old guy at 42, I still like to keep hold of these things and think it should stay in a cell phone? Or is it just me being, you know, whatever, nostalgic? I like them. Let me know if you do. Anyway, this is Modern Dad, and I'm signing out. Peace.